folks welcome back to my channel and this is another video looking at some more amazing Scottish produce and again this is something that I managed to pick up while I was up paying a visit to Lus and this is something that I've actually had seen adverts for on Facebook and I was actually really intrigued by what I'd seen and I was actually planning on going on the website and buying some of their stuff at the end of this month after I got paid. But then when I was at last, I went into the village store, my village shop, and it was just sitting right in front of me when I walked up to the back bit of the shop. And I thought, well, why not? Save, save myself the hassle of buying online. It's there already. And I picked up a couple of all their products and I'm now doing the video. So what I picked up, and what I'm going to, I'm going to be talking about in more depth in a moment, is... Glen Shield, the chocolate of Glen Shield. So I've picked up two of their 70 gram bars. I, I, I'm pretty sure they do different flavours. I, I will post a link to their website in the description bar below if you want to have a wee nosy to see what else they do. And um, yeah, so I'll talk about them in more depth in a moment. Some housekeeping first. If you're, in, if you're enjoying my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on that subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channelscoffee.com page in the description bar below and then a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, with that, out, with that done and dusted, I'll get back onto the main topic of this video. So as you can see, I've got the two separate bars. The first uh, the first one that I probably will try will be the dark chocolate and sky sea salt. And as you can see from the cover, they have won an award for the Great Taste Award. And uh, yeah, that's for 2020. And yeah, so it's their, their award winning chocolate. And if you can actually see on the cover for this one, because it is sea salt, it does have little waves drawing, drawn on the, the cover of it as well, especially with it being kind of blue. Uh, so that's that one. That'll probably be the first one I'll try. And then the other one that I decided to get was the white chocolate and raspberry one. And again, as you probably will notice, they do very much try and keep the, the, the actual wrapper relating to the content of what is inside. So it's got a raspberry colour for the actual kind of basis and little raspberries dry, drawn on the cover as well. So yeah, and I do like the fact that it does have kind of mountains as part of their logo. So again, suggesting that kind of them being based in the Scottish Highlands. So yeah, let's try and get this open now. Yeah, I've actually just opened the the in the cover, the kind of cardboard uh, cover for the, the, the chocolate itself, and I just realised that they give a wee map, kind of showing whereabouts in the Scottish Highlands they're based, because that there's where the, the actual kind of company is, and they're actually on the shores of Loch Duich, which is there, and they're actually on the road to the Sky Ferry, so that's the Isle of Sky there, so. I really like that. It's a really clever way of doing it, and again, it kind of it, it does suggest very much uh, where they are based in Scotland. The landscape very much kind of gives it a kind of a sense of the environment, and yeah, really nice idea. Really like that. And again, with them being based so close to Sky, having them use Sky sea salt just adds. A, a little extra layer of local significance. So I just kind of reading on the, the kind of what it says in the back. It says the beautiful taste of the sea from the sky adds a subtle difference to this beautiful dark chocolate that will excite your mouth and comfort your heart. The, this chocolate bar is a small taste of the beauty the Highlands have to offer. And it actually says that the the dark chocolate sky sea salt uh, bar is suitable for, for vegetarians 
and I think it's the core the core core percent is or uh, is 72 72 percent that's kind of quite a high count or quite a high percentage I'd say or well, for me anyway because I do tend to kind of go more for, for milk chocolate so just open this up oh I, I, really, I really like the way that, that it's kind of shaped it's almost like you could just take little small mouth, uh, kind of mouthfuls of it. Oh, has that kind of really lovely rich smell to it. I like that. Hmm. Again. It's like, I, I, I'm not really one for dark chocolate, but I like that. That's, cause that's the sort of thing that you'd only ha ever have in small amounts. Because again, it's, it does have that kind of bitter taste that, that you do get with dark chocolate. But it's not that kind of artificial, kind of claggy kind of bitterness. It's just that really, just like that really kind of, it just kind of lingers slightly and I think with, with the salt as well it just kind of it works really well it kind of balances each other out and there is this kind of smoothness, smoothness to the chocolate as well which I quite like which I, I don't generally tend to find with dark chocolate I tend to find that it tends to have a slight grittiness to it but I really like that it's really smooth and it, the, the, the bitterness from the, the chocolate and the tanginess from the sea salt does work really well. So yeah, again, if you are vegan or if you really like your dark chocolate, definitely get yourself a bar of uh, chocolates of Glen Shiel, uh dark chocolate and sky sea salt. Definitely, definitely worth it. Really, really nice. So the next one I'm going to look at is going to be the, uh, the white chocolate and raspberry one, which with it being white chocolate should be a wee bit sweeter. Yeah, I've just opened the, the cardboard cover for the, the white chocolate one. And I was expecting to have to find a map like I did the first one, but actually get a, a wee bit of information about the, per the young man who founded Chocolates of Glen Shiel. So, as Chocolates of Glen Shiel was created by Finlay MacDonald uh, when he discovered his passion for chocolate and business at the age of 17. Chocolates of Glen Shiel produced delicious handmade chocolate in the Scottish Highlands using the best of Scottish ingredients. So seriously, Finlay, you started your own business at 17? Well done, young man. It's all the best. So that's, that's Finlay there. That's uh, the young man who set up a uh, chocolate of Glen Shield. And yeah, so he's a young, young up, uh, entrepreneur. He set up his own business at 17. So yeah, definitely. And finally, from what I've tried of the dark chocolate and Sky Sea Salt, you really know your stuff. So I'm gonna try the white chocolate and raspberry one now. And this one does actually have raspberries in it. It's, I think it's, uh, as it's in the back. So the tartness of raspberries we the, the tartness of the raspberries we use balances out the sweetness of white chocolate, creating an exciting eating experience. So it's uh, white chocolate with the freeze freeze dried raspberries. And again, it does very much have the same kind of kind of shaping of the chocolate that you get with the dark chocolate one. I do love the way that it's the the white chocolate and the raspberries kind of mar are kind of marbled within the chocolate. That's kind of really nice. Mmm. Oh. The, the first thing I got was like a, a tartness of the raspberries because. At the, bo the bottom of the chocolate itself, it's got a layer of kind of raspberries. Oh, it's kind of 
got a it's kind of raspberry dust at the bottom of the, the bar itself and I just got a kick of raspberry well, when I kind of put first put it in and it really does work with the sweetness of the white chocolate oh really like that it really works it has that kind of sharp sweet kind of fresh kind of taste to it oh yeah I really like that so yeah I will have to sit and enjoy both these bars but I would say that even though the dark chocolate one really works is really nice uh, I would say that at the moment the white chocolate and raspberry one just happens to be my favourite so I will have to try and see if I can find more of their products online I will have to have a look at their their website to see what else they're doing because if, they're, if their chocolate is that good and I've only tried two of their flavours to the products I will have to have a look and just explore and have a wee, a wee nose to see what else I can get a hold of. So yeah, I really like that. Was kinda, I was kind of, I have to admit, I was looking forward to trying uh, the chocolates of Glen Shield. Certainly was not disappointed. Uh, and I may have slightly exceeded expectations, especially uh, finding, finding out that Finley McDonald, the guy who started chocolates of Glen Shields, is so young and is such a young entrepreneur uh, that kind of definitely just blew my mind because he really does seem to know what he's doing and his chocolates and his products do seem to be really good quality so I would definitely recommend if you if you can get onto the website definitely have a look I'll be, I'll be getting, getting on myself to have a look so yeah hopefully you will all have enjoyed that video and I'll be looking forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.